नमस्ते नेपाल अनि संसार भरि छरेर बस्नु भएको सम्पूर्ण नेपालीहरुमा फेरि पनि म नेपाली इंग्लिस भाइ स्वागत गर्दछु सम्पूर्ण नेपालीहरुलाई वेलकम टु एपिसोड पेरी वन बिफोर प्लस सेवेन्थ Back in episode 30, we discuss about Jawan that is I as a farm and I recommend you learn Jawan pretty deeply and in details. Because in this episode, we are gonna discuss what if we play some words like before with Jawan. And I'm pretty sure you know if that in English using the same subject and same verbs or having verbs in a single sentence is always avoided. Look at the sentences. I will go to bed, but before that, I will watch TV. Before going to bed, I will watch TV. You can take your meal, but before that, you must wash your hands. Before taking your meal, wash your hands. He in the sentence, I is subject and the will is helping verb and we use them twice. Therefore, we try our face to avoid the subject I and the helping verb will using again and again or twice. And we make the sentence in this way. Before going to pay, I will watch TV. In sentence number two, you is the subject and can and must are the helping verb and we try to avoid the subject you using twice and the can and the must do not indicate a particular time or any tenses that's why we drop both of them and make the sentence in this way before taking your meal wash your hands you took my money but before that you should have asked me once before taking the money, you should have asked me once. She can open the secret, but before that, she needs to ask the team. Before opening the secret, she needs to ask the team. Your father can stop to take the medicine, but before that, he should counsel his doctor. Before stopping to take the medicine, your father should counsel his doctor. I'll get inside her room, but before that, I'll knock at the door. Before getting inside her room, I'll knock at the door. This is really pretty cool when we speak English. We can use just types of sentences everywhere and in every field and in every conversation. In the next episode, you will learn about after plus challenge. This is Nepali English boy saying you have a great time.